In this series of videos, we've been looking at relevant costs for decision making. Uh, as always, the worksheet problems we work through are linked right below this pro uh, video, so you can go ahead and click that link and download uh, uh, the worksheet. Um, the second type of decision we're going to look at, in the last video we looked at keep or replace a piece of old equipment. Should we keep it? Should we replace it with a new or efficient uh, model? This one, we're going to look at whether we should drop or retain a segment of our business. So we call this a drop or retain problem. And what do I mean by that? Well, let's read the question and you'll see what I mean. Uh, Jen Sweaters mass produces sweaters to be sold in major department stores. The company's sweater vest segment has exp been experiencing losses for several years. So we got a sweater company. They make all sorts of different polos and different shapes and sizes of sweaters. And they also make sweater vests. But the sweater vest segment has been experiencing losses for several years. The most recent monthly income statement for the sweater vest segment is shown below. And uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I can see. Wow, losing lots of money, losing $126,000. Uh, and so not surprisingly, I can kind of, well, I wrote the question, so I know where it's going. But you can kind of guess where this is going. Somebody's saying, hey, should we stay in the sweater vest business? Like, does it make sense for us to be there if we're losing money on sweater vests and presumably making money on, on sweaters and other types of uh, shirts and things? Uh, the discontinuance of the sweater vest line would not affect the sales of the company's other product lines and would have no effect on the company's total general factory overhead or total purchasing department expenses. Would you recommend the sweater vest product line be discontinued? Support your answer with computations. Okay, so we've got to look at this and we've got to say, okay, what costs uh, and revenues are relevant to dropping the sweater vest line? Well, uh, if we get rid of the sweater vest line, we get rid of the sales for sure, it's going to sell zero. We get rid of all the variable expenses, we get rid of the total variable expenses, we get rid of the contribution margin, that goes to zero, right? Sales go to zero, my variable expenses go to zero. Those are all relevant because, again, look at the alternatives. It's got to be different between the alternatives and not sunk. And in this example, it's basically we're looking for differential costs. It's an income statement, there aren't going to be really sunk costs on here, not many anyway. Well, there might be a couple, um, but mostly we're looking for different between the alternatives. And certainly sales, different between the alternatives, hasn't happened yet, not sunk. Variable expenses, different between the alternatives. Uh, again, the alternative here is keep the division going, the sweater vest division going, or drop it entirely. So if I keep it, I make 700 grand in sales. If I drop it, I, I make zero in sales from that division. If I keep it, I have 390 grand in expenses. If I drop it, I have zero in expenses. All of these are, are relevant down to here. They're different. It hasn't happened yet. They're not sunk. These are relevant costs. Advertising. Well, if I keep the division, I'm going to advertise it. If I drop it, advertising is going to go away. Zero. So definitely different between the alternatives. Depreciation of equipment, no resale value. Well, this one's an interesting one. My equipment is going to depreciate. I can't sell it. So that means I've just got to keep it on the books. Even if I trash it, then I'm going to have a loss. This 20 grand is not relevant. It doesn't matter if I get rid of the division or if I retain the division. If I keep the division going or if I drop the division, this cost will remain. So this is our first not relevant cost. I'll put a little X beside it. General factory overhead, 65 grand. And there's a little note there. It says common costs allocated on the basis of machine hours. As soon as you read common costs allocated, you've got to think these are company costs, right? Common costs that get allocated are company-wide costs. This is their share of the company-wide costs. If we drop the division, we're still going to have company-wide costs. Uh, it says, even down below, it says the discontinuance of the sweater vest line would not affect the sales of the company's other product lines and would have no effect on the company's general factory overhead. So general factory over at 65 grand isn't going to change if I drop or if I keep the division. It's not different between the alternatives. Insurance on sweater vest inventories, absolutely I can get rid of the insurance on sweater vest inventories. That one's totally relevant. Because uh, if I keep the segment, I'm going to have insurance. If I drop the segment, there's going to be no insurance. Purchasing department expenses is the two asterisks. As soon as I read common costs allocated, I'm thinking not relevant. And there's even more to note here. 
it said that the uh, dropping of the product line would have no effect on the company's total factory overhead or total purchasing department expenses. In other words, if I drop the, uh, the, the sweater vest division, my purchasing department is still going to have the same level of expense. This cost is not relevant. Salary of the sweater vest manager, unfortunately for him, he will be let go if there is no sweater vest division. So his salary will be zero if there's no division, and it will be forty-five grand if there is a division. So, looking through this, we can go about it a couple of different ways. One way is just to make a new income statement for the company without having this division and say, what does that income statement look like? Uh, and maybe I'll do that quickly beside here. So let me do that actually really quickly. So, my sales will be zero if I drop the division. My variable expense is zero, 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 zero. My advertising will go to zero. My depreciation of equipment will stay at 20. My general factory overhead will stay at 65 because I don't lose it. My advertising, that was 97, will be zero. Not advertising, rather. Insurance will be zero. My purchasing department expenses, unfortunately, I have to keep them. They'll be 50. My salary of the sweater vest manager will be zero. The total here, 20 plus 65 plus 150 is one. Uh, 20 plus 65 plus 50 rather is 135. So, scrolling down a bit, overall I would lose 135 if I drop the division because I'm stuck with those expenses. Basically, it's how many expenses are we stuck with? We're stuck with 135 grand in expenses versus 126. We're 9k better to keep the division going. Now, another way of looking at this and another way of computing this, because that wasn't really a proper relevant cost analysis, let's look at what's relevant. The first thing that you look at in dropping a division is you lose the contribution margin, right? You lose the sales and the variable expenses. So I'm going to say CM lost, and our CM lost is 212 grand. So that's the bad news. And you kind of accept that because you go, okay, I'm going to lose some contribution margin, but I'm going to save on fixed expenses. Fixed expenses uh, saved. And the fixed expenses we save on are all the relevant ones, all the ones with check marks, 61, 97, and 45. because I don't have to pay those fixed expenses anymore, right? I'm not going to pay, uh, scrolling up, sorry, my scroll is not working so great. Uh, I don't have to pay advertising anymore, I don't have to pay insurance anymore, and I don't have to pay the salary of the manager anymore. So those are fixed expenses I save. 61 plus 97 plus 45, can't do the math in my head. 61 plus 97 plus 45 is 203 grand. So I lose 212 grand of contribution margin, but I save 203. Overall, you can see I'm $9,000 worse off. Now I should have noted what the fixed expenses saved were, advertising, insurance, and salary. So I saved 61 grand in advertising, 97 in insurance, 45 in salary. So my total fixed expenses saved are 203, but you can see I lose 212 in contribution. So my net uh, benefit, in this case, it's not a net benefit, it's my net loss from dropping the division. is $9,000. And that's exactly what we set up above. We said, oh look, 135 would be our loss if we drop, 126 if we keep, uh, we're nine grand better to keep. Now, having said all that, so there's two different ways again to compute the same thing. As I mentioned in my class, I wouldn't care which way my students use, but your prof might have one way over the other that they prefer. Um, having said all of that, if you're running a company and you've got a division losing $126,000 every year, this is short term. In year one, you're better off to keep the company, uh, keep the division going. 
if the alternative is just not to make any money from it. So in the long term, though, if your division is losing money year after year, quarter after quarter, you've got to do something. I mean, this isn't like just because we're saying, oh, you're nine grand better off to keep the division doesn't mean long term you should be keeping this division or not trying to make it better, right? It's not sort of, we're not saying, hey, everything's great in this company. What we're saying is there's a problem, it needs fixing, but dropping the division will put us nine grand worse off than keeping it going. All right, that's it for this part of the video. In the next part, it's a make or buy decision.